Yeah, let's touch on some of the groups and factions in fighting games. Right, we ain't touched on that before, right? How about the Black Dragon? Huh? A bunch of mercenaries led by Kano. That's right. These guys will do anything for that dough, anything for that paper. Okay? Arm trafficking, assassination, racketeering, jobbing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Jobbing. You give these guys the right amount of money and they will lay down. You can ask Kano about that. That's a damn sure. But the difference is it needs to be a lot of money for Kano. Okay? Of course, they were originally in the Red Dragon. But they wanted to do their own shit. They didn't like the code of honor. In other words, Kano wanted to kill, steal, even from his own. And the Red Dragon don't get down like that. Yes, they're a criminal group, but they still had a code of honor. Whereas Kano and the Black Dragon, free for all, anything goes. If he wants to change his mind in the middle of a deal, then cut your throat. That's Kano for you. The Black Dragon are a cutthroat mercenary group, okay? and actually developed quite a name. Being hired by the likes of people like Shang Tsung, Shao Kahn, Melina, and the list goes on. They are in demand for some reason. <laughs> of course, being hunted down by the special forces. Those are their rivals, okay? Kano been getting washed by Sonya. Ever since he killed her partner, it's been on sight. Now, who are the members of this elite group? <laughs> well, I'm obviously joking. They're not really elite because in terms of power, they're way down on the scale in terms of the Mortal Kombat lore. Okay, way down. Some of these guys are complete jobbers. Only a handful of them. Not even a handful. I'd say two are very strong. The others, nah. So who are they? Who shall we start with? How about a rare one? No face. That's right, people. He's called No Face. And yes, you've guessed it. He has no face. Ha! <laughs> you see what they did there? Freed by Kano. I mean, he's not exactly a top ranking member, but look at the dude. Flamethrowers, dynamite attached. Looks tough, but eventually got washed by Jax. Yup, your boy No Face was killed off in special forces, meaning nobody Jax, saw him die. I was trying to get through to you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I just had a little fire to snuff out. What's the situation back there? Jack should be a rapper. Well, Jax, the deal is, these bad boys have more in common than we thought. Turns out that they were all card-carrying members of Kano's little club, the Black Dragon. But hey, I mean, his design looks crap here because the graphics are crap, but... What do you think it looked like with a new graphics engine? Like say the MKX engine or MK11 engine? They could actually do something with this no-face guy. Has potential, right? But hey, Jarek. Now this goofball appeared in MK4 and he didn't do himself justice at all. Came across as a poor man's Kano and Goofy. Not a badass, Goofy. They improved him a bit in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, but the damage was already done. When people think of Jarek, all they think of is that goofy ass ending, which was straight up bad comedy. <laughs> Didn't put himself over at all. In fact, he put himself under. Straight up goofy ass ending. Jarek. Come in, Major Briggs. This is Lieutenant Sonya Blade. What? <laughs> that silly laugh, this character. At this point, this scene is now legendary. You can't do it. Wrong, Jarek. This is not a brutality. Uh huh. This is a fatality. Jax with the one-liners. Tasia. Now she also appeared in Special Forces. God awful game, but then she came back in the comics. Didn't do too bad. Not a bad design at all. And if you were unfortunate enough to play the game, you'd realize that she was a problem. Master with the twin blades, constantly teleporting, she kind of was a problem. But then that's just gameplay-wise. Lore-wise, she's not hanging out with any of the big boys or the mid-tiers. <laughs> but one thing we learned here is that Jax had a thing for Tarsia. He couldn't help it. Listen to this. Yes, Jax, I'm here. Any news? Oh, yeah. I just got in a close shave with a twin-bladed honey. Bars. Too bad I had to take her out, though. That Tazia show was a looker. 
Uh, Jax, the mission, remember? If you can manage to concentrate for a little bit, Jax, I've got some news for you. <laughs> she was an okay character, I guess. Has better potential than Kira, I guess. Speaking of Kira, Kira appeared in Mortal Kombat Deception and again, minimal impact. Didn't get over at all. Her design looked like freaking Harley Quinn and Scarlet had a lost child. Clone moves, basic story. Yeah, she didn't pull it off. And apparently one of her redeeming qualities is that she takes great risks. <laughs> Laughable. She'll kill your average Joe, your average guy, but can she hang with anyone with decent skill? Mid tier or top tier? Hell to the nah. In his betrayal. Kira was weak. She should have left him dead. That is the Black Dragon way. Speaking of characters that are nowhere near top tier, Cobra, the street brawler, first appeared in Mortal Kombat Deception, where he was being recruited by Cabal to join the new Black Dragon. Why try to recruit him? Dude is garbage, but then again, he's still at a rep. It can kill your average guy easily. But just like Kira, he's not gonna hang out with any of the mid tiers or top tiers. Not even close. And regarded by many as one of the worst Mortal Kombat characters ever. Right? If you look at any list of the worst Mortal Kombat characters, you're gonna find Cobra near the top of the list. Anyone guaranteed. Goddess of death. With a kiss. Kira extinguished Cobra's life force and reduced his body to dust. Let all who would make demands of the Elder Gods beware. Who else? Tremor. Now here's a badass. He was actually in the Special Forces game, which was garbage. Terrible first showing for Tremor. But they done your boy justice. In the comics, Tremor is a badass. He's powerful if not the most powerful member of this group. Awesome character in MKX. He came with an original moveset, original techniques, the earth element. We haven't seen that before in MK, so that was a great addition. Tremor, great character. Kano had sent Tremor's team there to retrieve a psych bomb to be used in Kano's theft of Shinnok's amulet. Exposure to that realm had increased Tremor's power and expanded his mind. He would evolve into an Earth Elemental, a demigod whose power would rival that of Raiden and Fujin. And of course you have the face of the Black Dragon, the leader of the Black Dragon, Kano. Vastly popular. In fact, if you release an MK game and Kano's not there, there's a riot. <laughs> Dude has his fans. But maybe he should try and hand over the leadership to Tremor. Because this guy gets his ass whooped 99% of the time. Give Tremor a run, Kano. Where are you off to then? I'm leaving the Black Dragon. It's your funeral. And lastly, we have the final member of the Black Dragon, and probably my favorite character in the Black Dragon, that would be Cabal. Awesome character, awesome backstory, awesome moves, and a very good resume. He's actually very strong. In fact, the two strongest members of the Black Dragon are Tremor and Cabal. Easily, by far. In fact, here's what I want you to do. Rearrange this list in terms of power, people. And that's pretty much it. These are all their members, and that's their mission. Earn money, take out the Red Dragon, and if they can kill Sonya and Jax in the process, <laughs> then that's the icing on the cake. <laughs>